Okay, we just finished up this uh, orphanage series here, so now we're walking home. I have some interesting information. So, the, the lady was very nice at the orphanage and explained many things uh, I had questions about. And she said almost all the orphans uh, stay. And then they go off to college and stuff. They raise them money for college. They have this huge, huge grounds that's like an hour and a half away where they give them a home for life. So if they choose they want to stay in the thing, they'll let them stay forever, which I thought to be very cool. Um, just to help the algorithm, can you smash the like button? Every like really means a lot to me and my channel, so I would appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Yeah, it just really helps with the algorithm so much, so would appreciate that if you could do that for me. Anyways, I found that to be super interesting. Those kids were really great. Uh, they lit up like fireworks when I gave them toys. I got a whole bunch of toys yesterday, like boxes of toys. So we laced them out with toys. Now they already had toys. So to places, people that don't think these orphanages have toys and stuff like that, they all do. Uh, they just clean up after them, you know. Playtime is a certain time from like, whatever, four to five. And then after playtime's over, they clean up everything and put it away. It's a very simple thing that they do. So, we were able to provide uh, formula and other things for the, the sister place that's an hour and a half away. So they're gonna ship a bunch of, oh, smoke show. They're gonna ship a bunch of stuff uh, over there as well, so song on the road and uh, they have over like 65 kids at the other place so don't think that all that stuff was just for for that one those only 10 or 12 kids I think there's 16 kids there total if I remember right it's going all over I, I told her take whatever you need to uh, to spread to the other place she said it was one of the largest donations of uh, uh, the, the milk, the, uh, the kids' milk. I'm blanking out on the name of it. Jesus Christ. I've been buying that shit for months now. Hello. <laughs> she was nice. So, you know, uh, they're happy. So I'm happy. It went well. We got one more to do. Here's the R15. Hello. My same bike, just in a different chassis, essentially. Naked. Mine's a naked. Upright. R15 is a great bike, though. Fun to. Feels a little quicker than my bike. Just a little bit. But it, it shouldn't. Hello. No money. Uh, I almost never give homeless people money here because you can you can do jobs, different varying jobs here. So. It's not particularly difficult to uh, be a ticket seller. I've seen, you know, ladies with foots missing, arms missing, two arms missing, still selling lottery tickets, so. Hello. Uh, so, I mean, there's no problem with uh, figuring out a way to do some kind of work here, even if you're disabled, in my opinion. So I forgot what this was. I think this was a failed hotel, like a Hilton or something. Again, there's a reason why things don't get built quickly and properly in Vietnam, and it's mainly all corruption, I'm gonna assume. But like, this bridge, I'll show you. This bridge that was supposed to be done by the end of the year, which would be really nice to have, because it would make getting to D2 like, not even an inconvenience. Oh, college students are nice. Barely an inconvenience. Formula. How could I not remember formula? Sorry. So this guy sells to the college kids after they get out of class. These are all college girls and guys you're seeing here. They're college right here. Barely an inconvenience. So yeah, uh, let me explain. Let me walk up these stairs and let me explain to you. So we're leaving D4. Excellent place, D4 if you want to live. People keep saying it's a gangster district. It used to be, it's not really. And then especially if you're by the river, there's no gangsters for sure.
So, D4. Apartments start at 500, go all the way up to 1500. Let me get back to these, these failed buildings you'll see all over and unfinished projects like the subway, I mean, Metro line, all that stuff. This bridge over here, not getting finished now. They're not even working on it. Land right issues. That's always what they state. Land right issues. I mean, you don't already have the land right issues figured out before you start building a billion dollar bridge. Or I think it's like 232 million or something. USD. And then who knows how much this building costs that they got like halfway through and then just stopped. Again, I can almost guarantee you land right bullshit again. And I don't see how that does any good. It, it, it even affects government projects. Like this bridge isn't gonna get done because of what? Magical land right issues now? It's gonna be the same with the subway. I'm telling you, you ain't gonna see that subway up and running for like two years. And that, that's an accelerated timeline, two years is wishful thinking if you know what i'm saying agri bank like one of the worst banks never get agri bank i really like techcom and vib i mean epic view though of uh landmark pretty nice walk right that's why i decided to do a walking vlog with you guys because this is a pretty epic view there's actually a really nice park right here next to whatever this thing is. I think it cleans the water. They remove trash at that point. Just talk about trash, I think we're 10, 20 years out for getting a handle on trash. I think the one way reform's gonna happen here is once all the older generation gets out of office and the newer thinking younger get into office, then, then you'll probably have some change in my opinion. That's the Elise, the uh, dinner boat. It's just, it's just it's crazy to me that you would build, I mean, that's a lot of this building already built and you just stop. Same thing happened uh, at Golden River on Lux 5. I mean, now someone else has bought the project and they're finally finishing it, but for years that thing just stood halfway built. They're the beginning of rush hour, if you can't tell. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know there's walkways on this bridge. Project management. Oh, there's still somebody here. Oh, they must have to have a guard to like watch over it. So people don't go squatting there or something. I mean, why not just sell this off? I, it's gotta be the, the, the whole land rights thing because you'd think you would sell it off like the Golden Rivers project was. Across the street. Taking it to the streets. Woo, woo. So like I said, I'll, I'll be traveling heavily in about a week or two. We're waiting on a few things that we're buttoning up here. And then after that, I'm traveling to all, all different locations. I might even go to five or six cities in Vietnam. We're gonna create all kinds of fresh content. We're taking the drone, try to get some sweet like 30 second drone shots for intros on videos. My biggest channel gain was the month I went to, uh, to Ireland. And it all had like drone footage and stuff like that. And people seemed to really like it, so. And I use music that I made, so like it's not like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time I use music I made, I have made, or a remix I've done. Let's see. The Elise menu just didn't look very impressive to me, so that's why I didn't get the, that's why we haven't eaten at the Elise yet. I was just like, this menu's kind of whack whack. Whack a lack, quack, 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 quack. Don chicken. Don chicken's actually delicious. We're gonna head down here to this market. I need to get some salad dressing. 
so I'll take you with me. Hopefully they let me film. Okay, this camera's created a bunch of issues and then solved a bunch of issues. It's solved more than it's created, but yeah. I think I'm gonna make tacos this week. Since I'm only eating one meal a day and I only have about five to 700 calorie intake, it's roughly what I've been doing and it's pretty sustainable. I feel pretty good. I can make tacos out of just beef Put a little sour cream on top, put some lettuce, put some uh, red tomatoes that are in season right now, and have two of those, and that's well under, you know, five to 700 calories. So that's the kind of the good thing about like, this was kind of my approach to how I lost all the weight before I got here, is, you know, I go weeks heavy at a time with just like chicken every day, lean chicken, vegetables, lean chicken, vegetables. But you have to spice it up a little bit sometimes. You can't be, you can't make it to something to where you'll fall off the wagon and like be ordering McDonald's one night or something. And I'm not gonna lie, I like love food, you know? But there's two sides to that too. Like primarily what I ate for the first two weeks in this weight loss challenge, I'm down to 222. I started off at pretty much 232. So I'm 10 pounds down and it stays off, so it's not like, you know, fluctuating weight. That is what it's at, it's at 222. I can even show you on the app. I think I weighed myself last five days ago. Let's get out of the sun so I can show you. 222, and that connects directly with the scale. So 325 at 5 p.m., 222. And it started with, hold on, let me cover my name. And it started with 232. And that's all digitally tracked, all that stuff. So I actually got a good scale because I wanted to be accurate. I got the Mi Fit 2 and it does BMI and it Bluetooth syncs with your phone. So you, it can record the data for you. And it's nice to see that I've lost 10 pounds and I was, you know, only 10% lighter than people my age range. Now I'm 15% lighter than people my age range. So, and my BMI is, is, was over 30 and it's now under 30 at like 29. So yeah, we're doing really good. And I have no problem sticking to it. Feel good, lots of energy. I have filmed both of these markets before, so if you want to look and watch these market videos, just Google American Market and it should come up for you. However, the new problem is, is you know, Jewel Mango Pods are only made in Russia now. And like, my guys can't get their hands on the ones in Russia now. They're saying that they're not gonna make them in Russia anymore. Like, it's so ridiculous that they got rid of pods over governments crying that kids were using them. What do you want the kid to smoke a cigarette? That is so ridiculous because any kid that's going to smoke is going to smoke, man. Whether it's an e-cigarette or a cigarette, they've made that decision that they're going to smoke, dude. So all you're doing is pushing them into using cigarettes then. Like, what nonsense. It's just ridiculously dumb. This place is pretty famous. They've got a... Uh, these huge bomb meats that are really good. I really like them. And then they got ham. Oh, yeah, ham. I'm putting my mask on. Different ham, bacon, stuff like this. And then different like baked goods. The green bean paste, cake. So there's two of these places, there's Fuang. There's Fuang High over here, number two, and Fuang High One over here. And then this place has all the cheese. If you need cheese or whipping cream and stuff like that, she's got you locked and loaded. Let me show you some of the things you can get in here. Fuang High, okay, yeah. 
So we just need to get a few things, but I'll show you what you can actually get. Talking about Cheese Whiz, for one. If you've ever wanted to know where Cheese Whiz is, you know, all kinds of crackers and stuff like this. A lot of typical American junk food, if you know what I'm saying. Salad dressing over here. I'm familiar with this place. Come on. Crystals is the best. I don't know if they're going to have it though. Thousand Island. This one does the job too. It's Italian. They've got Frank's Red Hot here, stuff like that as well. So like interesting little things like that. Let me show you this side. And there's Indian food upstairs. But any kind of flour you need for making any kind of things like that. They even have uh, corn flour. All kinds of random shit. Like pinto beans, refried beans. Uh, you know, this is the only place I've seen it. Sliced jalapenos and then in the can. Baked beans, you know. All the good stuff. Vienna sticks. Okay. Wait, wait, wait in the pair. We just need our one item here. This place can be dangerous if you take your time and look around. Okay. 45, so it's around two bucks. So that's actually pretty close to what it would be in America. I just gave you 50. <laughs> I just gave you the 50. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Charge. Double charge. It's on camera though. Okay. So from here, we can walk down. I need to make a few more stops on the way home. So yeah, hopefully I can figure out this jewel pod thing from Russia. I found some websites that have them listed and like I could buy 20 packs from a few sites but I, they're in like Dubai. So I have to find some kind of shipper from Dubai. Like I just wish they'd just make the fracking pods man, you know what I'm saying? It's so annoying. So this is B-Texico with the, the old landing pad at top. I've never even seen a helicopter in uh, Vietnam flying an actual flight, so I think that's more for, I don't know, show. Oh, ping pong. Kind of cool. I'm never good at any of those type of games. There's too much practice involved in that shit. I don't have the time for that. I don't have the time for that. This is where you can waste an incredible amount of money when you come here if you choose to. I would recommend to skip the lady bars here. They're an absolute tourist trap, especially for men. They rip you off. I read an article, they're supposed to start cracking down on all these places. Because like the big thing now, like especially since the pandemic, They'll drag you in there. You know, you'll drink for a few hours. This guy really has a lot of mods on his M215. They're kind of weird though. Like, what's with the hoses? He needs new tires. It's okay. Nothing I would do. And he lost his side mirrors. He needs side mirrors. But yeah, they'll drag a guy into a bar. He'll be there for two hours. 
and they'll be like, oh, your bill's 30 million. And you don't have, you, they have guys there, they'll pull a guy, even if you don't see him there, they'll pull some guy from the back or three or four, and they'll be like, you're gonna pay this. It, it's, you have no choice. And the police system here is totally a joke. So there's no one to call. You can't call, and especially if it's late at night, there's no police to even be found. They're, they're not open. So you're just fucked. So yeah, I would stay away from these places. They're okay to go with like a few friends for a few drinks for like a half hour. But going there a lot, going there to drink, not a, not on my recommended list. And yeah, just do yourself a favor and stay away from that shit. Plenty of ways to get hot chicks to party, all natural if you're a decent looking guy. I'm in another YouTuber's Discord and they love to talk shit about Vietnam. It's like the home of 60 year old guys getting 20 year old brides. While I do agree that's one of my pet peeves about Southeast Asia and I cringe in a lot of the countries when I see like a 70 year old guy with a 20 year old chick. I'm like, really? Um, I'll never be that guy. I have zero interest in... I'm not an ageist and... Uh, yeah, I think women can be beautiful in almost all ages. This place is great up here. Chiquita. I'm not gonna leave you Google instructions about it. If you don't know how to Google, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. But it's called Chiquita. So Google away, Chiquita Vietnam, and you'll figure it out. I find it funny, everybody's like, can you put the name? Usually you'll see the address of places as I'm walking by. Google's your friend, man. That's all I gotta say. Casper mattress? Oh, air conditioner. I think we're gonna end this log here, guys. We've all seen this before. I keep forgetting you can get appliances here. Like a little oven, if you want, you needed a little oven. Those little ovens suck, though. They never cook right. A kagogi. Hello. Hello. What are they filming? Dual filming. Two photographers. There's definitely a massive amount of content creation happening in Vietnam. Everybody's a YouTuber that you bump into. I mean, everyone. I'm more power to you, man. I don't care. More YouTubers, the better. It takes consistent effort to make it in YouTube, so. Well, let's let's take a look at walking shoes. Oh man, that's a lot of pizza. Yummy. Yummy. Oh. And then we'll we'll cut it off. Didn't do interviews this past weekend. We just kind of chilled out. The way that these coffee shops and uh, all these tea shops can stay good and stay open since there's like one right next to each other is so many people use food delivery like like grab buy me all these different delivery places so yeah Honk, honk away. Honking in, honking in, honking away. Huin, hue, walking tree. Oh, this guy must be expecting a lot of people here today. He's got the, uh, the hoverboards out early, man. I've seen so many people fall on those hoverboards here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.